Hi, need a little help? I'm Clippy. No, not that Clippy. I'm a songwriting AI designed by Live Edge Studio to help songwriters get the creative juices flowing and write. I field questions all the time like, what are the appropriate chords for the song? How do I come up with a melody? What is the best arrangement for my verse? But for this video, I wanted to start at the beginning. So I asked some of the DMV's best original artists some questions to pick their brains about the process and what a successful original artist may think about some of the questions you might have about your song. Everyone wants to write original music. Who wouldn't? And the only thing standing between you and your finished piece of art is finding the right mindset. Let's see what these artists think about getting started on a song. For myself personally, when I'm writing a song, I'm writing from a place that kind of sits inside of me that I don't even know exists. You know, how do you feel about things that you haven't felt yet? How do you explore things um, in songwriting when you're trying to explore things in your real life? I mean, no, the number one thing that people say is that you can't write if you don't have any life experience. Because it's, all per it's personal, right? I mean, the reason, I mean, I would say if I had to be sort of philosophical about it, I would say that um, at its base level, um, I think that we're all looking for connection. Um, and I know other artists have said this too, like I don't ever want to sing, uh, that's my goal at least, is to never sing a lyric I don't believe in. You know, I have to believe it. I have to, I have to it has to be real. You know, uh, or I, I won't be able to sing it with conviction. All I would say is like, maybe this is advice I can give, is that you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose that part of you that gets excited when you like a part of a song that you've written. I've always written the way I feel first. Uh, I take my the pen to the paper, express myself immediately through an actual form of writing the way I'm feeling before I can maybe go and take it to a person or go and really understand what I'm feeling. Sometimes I need to put it down. I, I think that you're never in the same headspace twice when you're writing music and when you write music and try to get to a place you've been already you are setting, you're like in, inherently, you're setting yourself up for failure. I mean, I can't speak for all songwriters, obviously, um, but uh, for me, it's, I cannot not write. Inspiration is really about your experiences and those change all the time. So um, what was inspiring me even six months ago is different than now. I could say, you know, uh, if I look back across my, you know, 20 years, I can't believe I'm saying that, but 20 years worth of music. And I listen to music that I wrote 20 years ago, you know, when I was in my 20s, the lyrical content um, and the concepts are slightly different than they are now. There are core concepts that, you know, never change. Ideas, relationships, love. I think uh, as I've gotten older, I want to, I see the value of authenticity more and more. Like I'd rather, you know, it's more important to be true to myself and be real. I'm not an expert, but if you were to ask me, I think the number one issue songwriters struggle with is writing that first lyric because they don't have a clear idea of what they want to say and what they want to accomplish in a song. That's when the blank piece of paper staring back at them can start to seem daunting because you can really take your song in any direction and you have to make big decisions about structure and lyrics. Sometimes it can help to first sit down and journal everything that comes to your mind with no filter or judgment. Then boil down your thoughts into a few recurring themes that will become your lyrics. Your lyrics have to come from a real place in order for you to get to the root of what your lyrics are really saying. That means you have to believe what you're saying in order to translate your thoughts into an amazing song. Uh, 
if you are writing something where you're like, oh, I really believe in this, uh, this new direction I'm taking, and you need to put your guitar down to find a, a, a melody or a hook, a particular lyric that you're like, oh, this is really powerful, then it's like, that's, that's what you should be doing. I wrote my first song back in, I guess 2019 was the first time I wrote a song, 2018. And when I first wrote my first song, it kind of just happened. And it was the first time that I felt like my self-expression actually manifested into something that I could say, wow, I can learn something from this. I can take this in and actually, I don't know, move, move past something. Maybe I came up with a lyric and it's, it's particularly ahead of its time in the song uh, or my evolution as a songwriter. Like when I'm sitting down by myself in the room, nobody around and I'm writing a song, I have all of the collective um, interactivity, however you want to say, I have all of the collective sort of power of all of those relationships that flow through me into that guitar and they're my audience. All I want is for them to hear it and be able to identify with the experience in some way. Whether it's they don't totally understand what I went through, that doesn't matter to me. The, the idea is that they can connect and I'm having an actual communication with them in a way that I would have never been able to connect with that person before. The easy thing about the creative process is there's a lot that you can choose from, but it's also the hard thing as well because it's blue sky, so you can go in 50 million different directions, which sometimes leads to sort of a you know a paralysis by analysis sort of thing. As you start to write a song, the worst thing you can do is say, that's bad. <laughs> because the moment you judge anything that is pure art and pure self-expression, the moment you judge it, it's out the window, I think in my, at least in my perspective, because if I'm judging myself and if I'm judging a pure form of even when I'm journaling, if it's not coming out just like without judgment, then I'm doing myself a disservice because like, I mean, I really don't believe there's a bad song. It can't be, it might not be your taste. I am never trying to accomplish something that I've already accomplished with a song. I am always trying to uncover new ground in, in my songwriting. I mean, one of the biggest things that I want to have for my listeners and people that discover my music is that there is an evolution over time. Hey, Clippy here. Be sure to stick around until the end of this video because I'll have the names and socials of all the great performers you see interviewed here. You know, a common mistake musicians will make when they begin writing songs is to think only about how the song will feel for the audience member listening to it. Remember, the audience is trying to get into your head. The person listening to the song is getting into your mindset, how you feel about an issue, or what your life experiences are. And there is no right or wrong. A song is a snapshot of where you were at a time in life when you were writing that song. But if you're judging that or filter it through a lens that isn't authentically you, something strange can happen. If you have any filter, it won't feel like your voice and the audience can know and disengage. You can write about anything, but remember that the audience is going to derive their own connections or find something in their life they can relate to in your song. And that's okay. Remember that a song is different for different people, including you. There is no right or wrong when you write about those things. So it doesn't make sense to judge something while you're putting pen to paper. Don't let your song stop you from using your voice. Sometimes as a writer, you gotta put yourself in, you know, it's not me writing the song. You know, maybe, maybe I'm, uh, you know, a 25 year old homeless person or, you know, or you people are, are a military veteran or something. You put yourself, you try to get into the shoes of what you may be writing. 
this is this is why music's so awesome. There's also why it's so challenging <laughs> because there's so much there, something for everybody. But at the same time, um, not everybody's going to appreciate every style of music, um, which some musicians take as a sort of rejection. You look at Andy Warhol's artwork. I mean, you walk around that museum and you think there's no way that this guy could be influential because it's just a bunch of paint on things, right? But it's more than that when it comes down to it. And when somebody, I think even if it's just a writing exercise, it might not be something that was super personal and, and intensely profound necessarily, but that's, I think, the beauty of art and the beauty of the fact that when a person listens to a song, it is 100% and they are in the driver's seat. At the end of the day, there is, in my mind, zero difference between a singer-songwriter and an accountant. An accountant has a purpose in this world and they do something for other people that those people cannot do on their own, but they are expected to do on their own. Uh, and, and other people do and they, and, but some people go to accountants for their, their money um, and, they, and they handle that, right? So what I'm saying is that a singer-songwriter has um, responsibilities in this world and that's really freeing to know, right? Because you have a place. You fulfill a purpose for some people that they're not going to be able to do themselves. And the reason why I believe a song goes from good to great is when the, the person listening to it can connect to it in such a visceral way. So when I complete a song that's, that I think is great, it's even scarier because it's that much more vulnerable. It's that much more stripped away. and people take for granted because of the way we consume media, that somebody that's up there uh, on stage singing you a song is um, ironclad, wants to be in the room, you know, is part of, been doing this for a while. Um, and I think uh, people don't realize that when somebody's up there singing you a song, they're putting their entire being, their soul out on display. And I think that Oftentimes, people that are consuming that aren't sensitive enough to the fact that somebody's just giving you their most intimate pieces. And I think the only way that you can do that is to figure out what your headset, your headspace is every time, right? So it's like you are changing, you are navigating, like not only are you navigating your life where you draw your uh, your experience and your songwriting from, but you're navigating that voice that you have. I find that the people that I, I admire the most in music are those who have um, found a way to write music that is fully authentically themselves and they enjoy it. Being a singer songwriter is one of the most terrifying art forms that I've ever done. And I am love being an artist and I, absolutely adore creating. That has always been my passion, is just building and creating. Anytime songwriting starts to feel elusive and the lyrics or melody seem to escape you, just remember that your favorite songwriter started exactly where you are right now. And they knew one key piece of information about songwriting that led them to greatness. I'm gonna tell you what it is now. It's to have fun. It isn't having the right equipment or meeting the right people or singing this chord and that melody together. It's having fun. Writing a song isn't going to work if you're not having fun expressing yourself while you're doing it. And remember to be proud of where you are in your process right now. You are on a musical journey, so be true to yourself and don't compare yourself to other songwriters or musicians. Just keep going, and I'm sure whatever you create is going to be great. I hope you enjoyed my little video on songwriting, and if you ever need help getting your song in front of people, remember to have fun making music.